In today's video, I'm going to show you the new best way to set up realistic war stages using 11 Labs Conversational AI. In just under 10 minutes, I'm going to explain why 11 Labs is the new best choice for voice agents in 2026 and walk you through step by step on how to set up your very first agent in just under 10 minutes. And if you're new to the channel, what's up? My name is Azim. I'm the founder of Inspire AI, where we've deployed over 30 voice agents, won a hackathon hosted by Nate Herc himself, and generated tens of thousands of dollars in results for many of our partners. If you're one of those business owners and you'd like to see more advanced voice agents inside of your business, feel free to book a free intro chat with me using the calendar in the description. The details are all there, so without wasting any time, let's just get right into the video. So over here, as you can see, I have my agent inside of 11 Labs open, and it's for a real estate use case. It can go ahead and check availability based on the date I give it, book appointments, as well as answer FAQs, all with a very simple setup inside of NAN, which we're also going to be using today, using this workflow. The first step for you right now is to go ahead and sign up to NAN and 11 Labs if you haven't yet. If you'd like to get two weeks free for NAN, you can go ahead and use the link I've dropped in the description. And if you're using 11 Labs, I'll also have a deal linked down there for you. Anyway, once you've gone ahead and you're in 11 Labs, you're going to go ahead to the agents platform because you might be logged into the creative platform. And over here, you can go to the agents section and click this plus sign or this plus new agent sign. So once you've gone ahead and done that, we're pretty much just going to go step by step and set up the same exact directions I have over here. So for the agent language, I've chosen to use English. For an additional language, I've decided to just put Spanish, but that's not required for you to set it up. For the first message, I just have something like this set up. You can feel free to customize it. And then for the system prompt, which are essentially our main set of instructions for the voice agent, like its personality, what it's tasked with, and I'll do things, I have this prompt. So the way you're going to access this exact prompt is you can head over to my free school community. I've linked that down below in the description. It's completely free to join. Once you're inside, I'm going to have a pretty visible spot for where I put the resources to all of my videos. So make sure to check that out. Download the NAN workflow I've provided here. And then also copy the system prompt and paste it directly inside of here. When you're setting up your time zone, just make sure that you set this to your correct time zone. In my case, I have it set to Eastern time. But for you, it might be something different. So after you've done that, we can configure some smaller options over here for the LLM. So just for simplicity purposes, I've chosen GPT-5. It's fairly cheaper than the other models, which I typically use in VAPI. But if you really want to, you can always use something like GPT OSS 120B, which is much cheaper but gets the job done quite well. For the reasoning effort over here, you can choose something like low. There's really not that much reasoning required for booking appointments, so just keep it at that. As for the temperature, you can just set it to creative so that it speaks in a relatively human way but isn't too creative, so just keep it at that. For the agent knowledge base, over here, I've created a sample knowledge base for the hypothetical real estate agency we're designing this agent for. And you can access this entire knowledge base file also in the resources along with the system prompt and the NAN workflow. So you can download that and just simply upload it inside of here. After this, you can scroll down. You can enable all three of these options. So and call, detect language, as well as skip turn. Those are pretty straightforward. You can check out the descriptions for each tool over here. And then the custom tools section is where we will be setting up the NAN workflow as well as connecting it to 11 Labs. I'm going to provide the file for this workflow also in the resources. So what you're going to do is you're going to simply download that file. You're going to go ahead to these three dots and then you're going to click on import from file and just upload that file. After you do that, you should receive this exact workflow and you should be able to sign it up. So what we're going to need first is, as you notice over here, we have the word webhook attached to e each of these tools. So a webhook is something that receives and captures information. And that's exactly why we have one set up over here. As you can see, it's the tool webhook. And so essentially the way this works is we're going to copy the URL. You can choose to use the test URL or the production URL. In this case, I'll just use the production URL because I can simply copy it, activate my workflow, and then I'm not going to have to click any buttons to make it work. So once you've copied that production link, you can go back to 11 labs and you can click on add tool. I've already added my tools, but you're just going to follow along with my steps. So inside of here, the setup is quite straightforward for use tools. We're going to give it a name. In this case, it's going to be book calendar. This is the tool that books consultations into the calendar, because in this case, real estate agency is offering free 30 minute consultations. So we're checking the availability for them and then booking people in. So the tool name is going to be book calendar. The description is going to be pretty straightforward. It's going to book a time slot into the calendar using the college request at time, the full name, the phone number, the email address, as well as any notes or preferences. 
Inside of this method, you're going to use the post because what 11labs is doing is it's essentially posting the results that we're getting from the call inside of NA and using that webhook. And then for this URL field, you're simply going to paste in the exact same URL, keep scrolling down, and then over here, the body parameter section is exactly where we're going to need to actually capture the information and be able to check the request time that a person asks us for. So in the description, we're going to tell the agent to extract the following parameters. We're going to have the requested time, which is the start time that the caller would like to book their consultation for in a specific format. Then we're going to have their full name, their phone number, their email address, as well as any notes or preferences that they would have for the consultation. And then for the properties, these are going to be the individual elements that we were listing here. So here we're going to have phone number, we're going to mark it as required, and we're going to have the description. And as the description, we just have the phone number of the caller. And what you're going to do is you're going to add every field you're going to put it as a string, you're going to mark it required, and then you're simply going to paste in the description. Notice that I'm just copying the descriptions of the parameters I put in here, and then I'm pasting them for each individual parameter here. So for the email address, I'm also going to have the email address of the caller. For the full name, I'm going to have the full name. And so you get the point. Once you set these parameters, go ahead and click save over here in the top right corner, and then you can close out of the tool. After doing that, we can set up our check times tool. This is a very similar setup. You're just going to create a new tool, name it something like check times. And then what it's going to do is it's going to return the availability of a preferred time of a caller for a 30 minute consultation. For the URL, you're going to paste in the exact same link that you had before. And you're going to scroll down to the body parameters once again. So for the description, it's just going to extract the preferred time of the caller, which is the date and time of a start time they would prefer in this specific format once again. As you notice, I'm copying the exact same description into here marking it as preferred time, and then clicking on required. Once you've done that, feel free to click save, and then you can exit out. Moving on, we can go ahead and actually set this up inside of NAN. So this entire workflow is essentially going to be set up for you. All you have to do is just connect your Google Calendar or whatever other calendar you prefer to the setup, and you're pretty much good to go. So instead, let me just walk you through the setup and how this works. So first of all, we have the webhook coming over from 11labs. This is going to be capturing the same exact information we were putting in as the properties. And the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to have a simple code note. And don't worry, I've already written all of the code for you. And this is simply going to extract all of the items from the body, so our properties that we created, and then put them into a single variable called combined content. Then we're going to have a routing node, so essentially it's going to know whether we're using the check times tool or the book calendar tool. If I click inside of it, you'll notice I have two cases. So the code node is going to extract all of the variables every single time. But the way we would know whether we're using the check calendar tool or the book calendar tool is if we have certain words or phrases inside of the information that is extracted. So if you remember, inside of the check times tool, we had a parameter that was called preferred time. This is the time that a person first gives us to check. So we automatically know that we're going to be using the check times tool. Now for the book calendar tool, we had set up a requested time parameter. And we didn't set this up for the check times tool. So we're going to automatically know that if the requested time is in the information that we extracted, 11 Labs is going to be trying to use the book calendar tool. After that, we're going to have nearly identical setups for each of the routes that we take. So in the case that we're using the check times tool, we're going to have an AI agent that's responsible for the time retrieval. As you can see here, the information that it gets from the conversation is given to us by the extract parameters tool. As you can see, the extract parameters node was our code node. So all that does is it once again retrieves the information and it provides this information to the AI agent. So in the case that we're checking the time, this combined content variable will have the preferred time of the person. And as we can see here in the instructions of the agent, it's going to be told to take the desired start time at 30 minutes to define the end barrier because each consultation is 30 minutes long. We're going to add 30 minutes to the desired start time and that's how we're going to be able to check the availability. So if the slot falls inside of the booking window, we're just going to go ahead and check that time and then return a result that we're then going to output inside of this webhook response node. The webhook response is essentially the opposite of a webhook. Instead of receiving information as we did here, all it does is it sends a response back as you'll soon see when I demo the system. And the way this time checking agent is going to check if the times are available, it's just going to use this check times Google Calendar tool, which as you can see here, checks the availability of a calendar and then returns it back to us. Now the other route, as I explained before, is going to be the calendar booking agent. This is a bit more complex simply because we're including more information, but it's really not a problem when all we're doing is just feeding in the information we got using the code node. 
and then giving some instructions to the agent. So similarly to the time checking agent, we're going to have a logic section. So it takes the desired start time, it adds 30 minutes to define the end barrier, and then it books it in. So 99% of the time, unless someone is on the call with the AI agent at the same time as the other person, and books it in a few seconds before they do, and tell the caller that it has booked them in. So overall, this is a very simple setup. All we're doing here is just having two agents inside of NAN, doing all of the work, and then giving us a result with those webhook response nodes. So now that we've got our agent set up in less than 10 minutes, let's go ahead and give it a really quick test call. I'm going to go ahead and ask it a few FAQs so that I can see whether it gives me the correct answers. And then we're going to go ahead and book an appointment. And the reason 11 Labs agents are much better than VAPI or retail agents is just because they were so simple to set up. An agent like this inside of VAPI would have taken more than 10 or 15 minutes to set up. But Aladdin Labs makes it really easy, especially with their knowledge base, which you can just plug in a file and then it's going to retrieve the information. But without any further talk, let me just go ahead and let the agent speak for itself. So over here, I'm going to have the AI agent open inside this test window. And then over here in another tab, I'm going to have this knowledge base. So I'm going to be asking it questions based on this knowledge base. So let's go ahead and give it that call. Hey there, this is Bobby from Vista Real Estate. How can I help you today? Uh, hey Bobby, how's it going? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. May I have your name to get started? And are you looking to buy, sell, or rent a place in New York City? Yeah, my name is Azim. Before we get into a conversation, I just wanted to confirm a few things. Someone told me that you operate out of Los Angeles, and then somebody else told me that you operate outside, um, in, inside of Miami. Uh, so can, can you confirm where you actually operate? Got it, thanks Azim. Vista Real Estate is based in Soho, Manhattan, and we exclusively serve the five boroughs of New York City. We do not operate in Los Angeles or Miami. Are you looking to buy, sell, or rent in New York City? Yeah, just a couple of more questions. Is there is there a place I can walk into to speak in person? Because I, I really don't want to do this real estate business um, over a call. Got it, Azim. We do welcome in-person meetings, but visits are by appointment only at our Soho office on West Broadway. I can set up a consultation for you with an agent and note that you prefer to meet in person. Are you looking to buy, sell, or rent in New York City so I can get you scheduled? Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to buy. Uh, I want a high-rise apartment. Got it. Azim, buying a high-rise apartment in New York City sounds great. Which borough or neighborhood are you leaning toward and what price range are you comfortable with? If you'd like, I can also check our next consultation openings to get you matched with the right agent. Um, yeah, so I was thinking maybe uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn is fine. Uh, and then also, I wasn't sure about the price. I, I think I think that's something I want to discuss with the agent. Got it. Brooklyn works. We can go over budget and options with an agent during your consult. Would you like to book a 30-minute consultation for next weekday between 9 and 5? If yes, what day works for you? And do you prefer a morning or afternoon slot? Also, what's the best phone number and email to include with your booking? Yeah, so I was thinking maybe maybe Tuesday next week. So that's what? That's in around four days. Great. Tuesday morning works. I can book 9 to 9.30 in the morning. Can I have your best phone number and email to finalize the booking? Also, do you prefer an in-person meeting at our Soho office or a virtual consult? Um, I, I want that in-person meeting. Um, the, the best email to reach me at is azim at gmail.com. So just make a note for that. Got it. I'll note your preference for an in-person meeting. Thanks for the email. I still need your phone number to finalize the booking. And just to confirm... Tuesday at 9 in the morning for 30 minutes works for you, right? Yeah, that sounds like a good time. Uh, my phone number is 555-555 and then 5555. You're booked for Tuesday, October the 7th from 9 to 9.30 in the morning for an in-person consultation at our Soho office. I've noted you're buying a high-rise in Brooklyn. Phone ending in 5555 and email azim at gmail.com. Anything else I can help you with before then? Um, no thanks, buddy. I, I think I'm good. Um, I'll see you later. Great. Thanks for calling Vista Real Estate, Azim. We look forward to seeing you Tuesday morning at our Soho office. Have a great day. You too, buddy. Bye-bye. So now that the call is finished, let's go ahead back to my calendar and see if it was booked. So as I can see here, uh, October 7th on a Tuesday, I was booked in for the real estate consultation. So if I go inside here, over here we can see some notes. Buyer interested in high-rise apartment in Brooklyn prefers in-person consultation at Soho office. It got the email correct, as well as the phone number. And on top of that, it answered my questions completely correctly, clarified the fact that they're based in New York City, and overall, it just gave me very quick and accurate responses. But with that, I hope that you got something out of this video. 
and have now realized how truly powerful Eleven Labs agents are. They're super simple to set up. In just a matter of 10 minutes, we have a fully functioning agent that booked in an appointment inside of my calendar. And from here, there are just a few steps that you can add to make it be able to reschedule as well as cancel appointments and deploy it for a real office. Now, if you're a business owner that's looking to go ahead and do something similar to this, whether you're in real estate or another industry, you can still go ahead and book that free intro chat with me using the calendar link in the description. Over there, we're going to create a custom or for your business, give you some powerful advice on how you can use voice agents to grow your business. But on a serious note, I hope you got something out of this video. And if you're looking for something like this, feel free to check out the other videos on my YouTube channel, as well as join my school community, where I've linked over 30 voice agent templates, so you can go ahead and access them completely for free. Thank you for watching this video. I wish you a nice rest of your day. Bye.